so we're going to start with the first bar and we're going to begin from the beginning, which is rhythm counting. So if you think you know what this is, now's the time to say it because I'm going to write it in. It's one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my handy metronome to 50 beats per minute, uh, 50 beats per minute for rhythm counting for, for this, 45 beats per minute for rhythm playing, and then when we add fingers, we'll slow it down to 30. Okay, so it might take you a little while to get it first. We're going to rhythm count this four times after four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. Okay, assuming that's all right, we're going to move on to playing it now on the open D string. Make sure you are in tune. So we're going to start on a down bow, and I'm going to give a count of two beats between every repetition. Okay, so starting on a down bow, three and four and three and four and three and four and Okay, great. So you'll notice that we ended up on the down bow as well, which might be a, a problem for us in the, in the next time, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. We'll add bowing at the end. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do rhythm strings. So I'm going to just write in, uh, we're going to use red for D, zeros for all of the Ds. And of course, we've got one A, which is going to be green. So again, just as we did with the rhythm uh, string, I'm going to give you a count of two between each, and I'll give you a count of four to begin with. One, two, and three, and four, and... Actually, sorry, apologies. I did say that I was going to slow it down for this. So we're going to slow it down to 40... Four for this, yeah. So after four, one, two, and three, and four, and three, and four, and Excellent. Okay, we're going to do that again after a short break. If you have nailed that down, remember to think about holding the bow up with the violin. Uh, if that's not a problem, then you can think about tone quality, position uh, of the bow on, uh, on the string, make sure it's positioned in sound point three. Okay, four more times like this. Three and four and... And four and three 
just stop there. So now I'm going to add in the fingering. Okay, I'm going to stop the metronome while I add in the fingering. If you think you know what the fingering is, shout it out now before I actually write it in. Okay, so now is the time to uh, either maybe you can pause the video and try this or just try it quickly now. Just try and play this without the metronome, just the fingering. Uh, don't worry so much about timing, it's just about getting those fingers in the right position before we start with the metronome. So you can do that right now. And I'm going to set the metronome speed to 35. Okay, so let me just get my fiddle. Hopefully you will have played it a couple of times. And now let's try it with the metronome, okay? So first I'm just going to count it because we are playing a much slower now so we want to get that rhythm right. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and... do is I'm going to um, increase the speed. Other things as well which you probably are already doing are thinking about this bridging here that's going on. So that's holding that second finger and it's also holding this first finger down as well. So we should be blocking with this first finger. Okay. If you weren't doing that before you can think about that now. Maybe don't try it on the first few repetitions. Okay, so I'm speeding up to 40. After four, one, two, and three, and four, and...
Excellent. So we'll stop it just there, uh, take a wee break, and then come back to it.